Well, good evening. We're getting fuel, and then we're heading to the desert. We got to get fuel here because we're not going to pass any gas stations before we get to this dude because he's really like, he's actually about a mile right over that way. Uh, we got a big 25,000 acres of uh, BLM desert land right there, and he's out in the middle of it. But to get to him, I had to go way down the road around the other side of that 25,000 acres and come back in. And uh, I'm not going to pass any fuel stations on the way. So getting some fuel now, and then we'll head out there. Okay, we're all filled up or filled up enough to go where we're going. We'll still have to get fuel on the way back to top off. Uh, I guess what we got is a guy with a Subaru out here in the Mayfield Pond BLM area. Hit a couple rocks and blew out both tires on the one side of his car, and he's only got one spare. So it doesn't really do him much good when he blows out two. So we're going to go out, get him, tow him out of there, hopefully without blowing out any of our own tires, and then uh, get him to Prineville back home, and then we can come back home because it is Friday night, and then we can have pizza and movie night. Oh, dang it. I, uh, I installed a new gate today. i got to find a gate opener. It might still be in the Jeep. Um, there we go. I haven't had a gate since we lived here. And I finally got around to this project. So look at that. I feel like a baller now. I wonder if I can soup them up and make them go faster. All right, let's go. My mind, instead of uh, driving all the way around and coming in from the other side, we're gonna go in from the alfalfa side and just go through the desert to get to him. He's closer to the other side, I think, but I don't want to drive all the way around, so I'm probably going to spend way more time and have a way rougher ride to go this way, but it's technically shorter, so it makes me feel better about it. All right, and it is going to be this rough and bumpy the whole way. Let's go. And out here in the middle of the desert, this nice green oasis of water is called Mayfield Pond. And it would be a super cool thing and a super cool place to come and hang out. Except everyone just gets drunk and comes out here and tries to go mud running through it and get stuck and trash it, bonfires and all kinds of other crap. So yeah, that sucks, but ow. Otherwise it'd be really cool. Okay. Off we Wonder why I got a flat tire. This is the road. And it's not much better over here, but a little bit, so that's where we're going. Yeah, it is rough out here. Oh man. I'm sure the stabilization on this camera is gonna make it look like a walk in the park. I'm gonna look like a wuss on here, but trust me, this is not tow truck territory. Which is why no one else would do it, and I'm out here. But that's how it goes. Okay, I gotta say. This guy made it impressively far because we are way out here and went through some, some really rocky terrain. I still haven't got to him. I see his tracks on the road. Those uh, uh, right there are little Subaru tracks. Well, they're little car tire tracks. We just happen to be a Subaru in this case. Uh, actually, here they are. Those are tracks that should not be out here. Those little street tires don't have the tread. Looks like here he tried to go around all these rocks in the road right here we're just going to go over them so he was trying to avoid the rocks and he did a good job because we've gone through some rough stuff and still haven't got them but he's got to be up here somewhere i think i see him yes that is a little car way out in the desert where it shouldn't be but here we are 
Okay, there's our car. So it looks like two passenger side tires are flat. So let's see how we want to do this. Okay, since the tires are flat, it still runs. We just have them drive into the wheel grids here. That way, I can keep this one nice and close. Perfect. So now, since this one's flat, this wheel grid's pinched a lot harder, and it won't uh, drop down through there, and it'll set up nicer off the crossbar. And then we're gonna have to get fancy to get the dollies under the back, but we'll show you that. Okay, so. We set the one in front and not the one in back, and then we pull the car up onto that front one by sucking in the wheel lift. And now we can go back here and we can drop this into a much narrower slot than we would have been able to otherwise with a flat tire. Okay, all loaded up, got it on the dollies. Light bar. Okay, we are unloaded. Uh, I didn't film it get unloaded quick because we're kind of here blocking this whole driveway. So just got out and got it dumped off. It's basically the exact opposite of loading it up with how we got it off the dolly. Same thing, just roll it up onto one dolly bar, pull the other one out the back, roll it back off of it and all done. So now we've got, we're in Prineville, Oregon now, by the way. So we've got about 30 minutes to get back home. And that went all good. Off-road towing out in the desert, did a little tow truck rock crawling, and now let's head out of here and go spend Friday night with the family. So that's it for this one, and we will see you guys next time. Good night. I mean, this is not the worst view in the world to come home to. I love it out here. Yeah, I know I said earlier that that was it for this one, but I just had to show you guys that because that's amazing. And that is home. So now that's it for this one. Good night.